shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a customer quilt. This is a very dog themed quilt and it has some very unique um, uh, thread painting or embroidery dogs here that we didn't want the stitches to go through. So we have a swirl or sorry a loop with a bone and then I'm putting uh, paws up in between the every second border. So I'm sectioning it out so that these right here the this one right here doesn't get a stitch through and this beautiful project right here doesn't get a stitch through so as i go and set up this is kind of a fill fill inside uh feature for the uh gamble statler stitcher or the uh, creative studios and you just go and you set your uh boundaries like you cut, click all the way up here you know to show you there all the way up here just right inside the line because you don't want anything to be stitched out go all the way over to the other side so you can kind of see where I was going with this. Click there, same down here to here, and then this is where I was putting the doggy paws. And go all the way over. And because this sits right here, I would clicked on this side of it, up to the top, again, clicked, and clicked again. And these are all setting my boundaries to where I want it to stitch out and go all the way back up to the top. So as you will see, there's this one right here, right in the middle, that I still have to set a boundary around because I don't want it being stitched through. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so that's where that's enclosed right there. So you'll see on the screen how this little box comes out here and then this box is right here. So I'm now I'm going to take the pattern that I want and set it out between those two rows. And you'll see how with just the fill feature of me watching where I'm going with the mouse, how I can get it so it won't stitch through this at all, but that doesn't distort anything else. Okay. So let me just exit the drawing here. Take my pattern. I know I want to repeat. I'm going to stick it down here and I'm going four across and two down. So rows is repeats four and rows is two. So I go and I select the whole thing. I like to change my handles though. There we go. I take it right up in the corner. Okay, right, right close where it needs to be. You can always tweak it after you get it all suited. Stretch it to the other end. Okay, you can see how it actually comes up a little bit higher on that side. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. And then bring it straight down to the bottom line. Okay, just waiting for the computer to catch up. Okay. We don't want anything going too crazy. Okay, and now we know, oops, over here, this one here, we can cycle the handles. Okay, these just give you ways to tweak the pattern. See how it's coming up just a little bit over here? I don't want that. So, and it's fine over on this line. So I'm just gonna pull it down just a little to keep it within the boundary and then these two right here oh, let me highlight them I'm just gonna pull them a little bit over here just tweak it so it looks like it belongs so now you see where I've got to this so far now I take this square and I want to go to the features and go fill inside so you can see how it cut it off, and then I need to take this pattern and do the same thing, fill inside. I have to do it with the ones that are crossing over that barrier that I don't want stitched out. And then this one right here, you can see it's just right under the, the blue is right underneath the, um, the blue square is right underneath there. Go to the features, fill inside. So as it's doing its stitch out from top, it's going to go all the way across here. So you won't be able to see this until after, well, you'll see it on the GoPro as it works it the way around the dog heads uh, and the little stitch out there. Okay. So now we're just going to go and say, okay, we like what we got going on here. It's all within our borders. We're okay. Nothing's going to come out and nothing's going to wreck anything. And we're going to hit start. Okay. And that 
is the fill inside lovely feature of this software. And it's gonna use this rust brown thread to stitch out some swirls and some dog bones on this very cute, adorable doggy themed quilt. So dog, the paws that refresh. <laughs> there's a couple little ones down here. Uh, bed hog dog, of course. And there's another little beautiful stitch out here. Some paw prints in your heart or on your heart. It's quite lovely, so. It's long as well, it's like 96 by, I think it was 70 or 66 or something. So it's a nice long one, nice comfy one. Uh, housework is the reason I go to the office. My dog is the reason I come home. <laughs> and see how it's stitching right within the border? It needs to, it's not going up where the paws are already. It's gonna stay within this whole area here. And that is Long Arm Wednesday. So take a look at the footage that continues after this and you'll see how it stitches around the dog and the, the dogs and the saying, because if you don't want that stitched through, we can certainly make sure it doesn't get stitched through. And I uh, hope you guys have an amazing, fantastic day and we will see you on the um, weekend project. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. And we're gonna start our uh, working still on the new project of the snowflake on Saturday, okay? Take care everybody, have a fantastic day and big hugs. And don't forget, on Sunday, December 8th, Munchkin and I will be finishing off the November and December blocks of the month via live stream and finish putting the whole quilt top together. So it's November, December, and putting the whole quilt top together of his future fantasy fun quilt. Uh, can't wait to have that happen next Sunday, so or on Sunday. So thank you very much, everybody. Big hugs. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye.